my father actually had dementia. He had early onset. He was diagnosed about at about 56 years old. One of his friends called me one day, um, who I'd known for a long time, and told me that he kind of got confused going to get dinner and going back home. And um, that was disturbing to me. Um, he did end up having to um, go into professional facility because I, you know, he, he, his disease progressed so quickly and he was in such a terrible state that I could not, you know, look after him 24 seven. I have a great support group um, of other family members and of course my husband, um, but it was not easy. It's very difficult time, especially when he was first diagnosed and um, the unknown that was to come. Uh, and he tried, he was living on his own for as long as he could and that posed some problems and um, just dealing with some of that, those issues um, and the, you know, confusion and he had some delusions and it was, it was hard to watch your own father go through that, but also mentally and physically draining to try to help someone like that, that you really can't help. He could make anyone laugh at any time. He was, um, not afraid to say whatever popped in his mind. He made everyone feel welcome and was a very kind and gentle soul. And he would want me to laugh about it instead of, I mean, laugh about him and our memories then to dwell on the sadness of it um, because that's the type of person he was. It does give me comfort how much time I did have with him. And I'm, I am grateful for that and that we shared those memories and laughs and, you know, trips together and all of the things you do with your father. Looking back, there were some other um, warning signs, I would say, maybe a little bit of paranoia and um, some, you know, just would have memories of recent events that just didn't happen, but they were small events in his mind and, you know, when he would say it, we're like, okay, well, that's plausible. But then looking back, it was like, no, he was just confused. Where did you come from, baby? I attended the Dancing Stars events for years. It was such a great cause and fun event. And really, um, because of my dad's health and his decline, um, I, I felt like you know, I had to be a voice for him. I hope to spread awareness and help raise funds for research. I've always thought this event was just really special because of how much money um, is raised in one night. What brings me hope is the number of people who are now involved in helping find a cure and to raising money for a cure and the awareness of it all now. Um, you know, it's, it's different than it was even 10 years ago. I will say it's very much an emotional roller coaster. And um, some days I didn't do so well. And, you know, other days I knew I just had to put one foot in front of the other and move forward, figure out what kind of resources are at hand and utilize them. The Alzheimer's Association office has material. I actually went there when my dad was diagnosed. Uh, you just have to figure out ways that you can be helped and use them. You know, utilize those resources because you cannot do it on your own. He would like for everybody to have the good memories of him and not dwell on the fact that he's not here.